Blood Twin Flames, these are your messages from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine. I'm going to be pulling from the Saints and Angels deck and from the Whispers of Love deck to give a message to all Twin Flames today on what their counterpart may be feeling. Here's a hint. This is also what you are feeling because you and your Twin Flame are one. So these are the energies that are coming forth. Um, and I chose this deck, these two decks, the Saints and Angels and the Whispers of Love deck, um, just because it's really time for you to receive some nurturing, um, sweet, supportive, unconditional love energy. And these two decks really embody that. So we're going to start off with the Saints and Angels to tell us a message from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine. Here is... Your first message, believe. St. Hildegard of Bingen, believe. So your divine masculine or your higher self is telling you to believe in your union, to believe in love, um, and to believe that you have what it takes to be with your perfect partner. We're going to stand that up there. There we go. You have what it takes to be with your twin flame. You may not believe that um, you do. This card also indicates that you need to watch your beliefs. Um, what are you believing in? Are you believing in separation from your twin flame? Are you believing in the illusion that you see with your external eyes? Um, are you believing that what you see in your reality is dictating your life on the outside to the inside? Or do you believe that you're worthy of love? That do you believe that you're worthy of being included in your union? Do you believe that there is a path to heal your union, that, that there is a way um, for you to heal. My spiritual teacher, Shalia, says, where there's a will, there's a way. So really choose to believe in yourself and in your union. I'm gonna pull another card. Okay, we've got Healthful eating, healthful eating, St. Raphael, the Archangel. Raphael always comes to bring a really powerful healing message. Um, I want to talk a little bit about healthful eating. What does this card mean? Does it mean to abstain from all of the foods that you like and just eat, you know, leaves? <laughs> Are you meant to just eat salads? Um, Are you using this card to abuse yourself? Are you using this card to judge yourself in, in what you believe um, you're doing wrong or right in your life? Or are you looking at this card and receiving the abundance and pleasure that is coming out? Look at the picture. Look at Archangel Raphael um, picking the fruits of that delicious tree. It looks like maybe they're plums. Uh, and how he's joyful when he does that. Your message from your Divine Masculine is whatever you're eating, eat it with love. Do you enjoy what you're eating? Are you experiencing joy in your dishes that you make for yourself or that you're purchasing for yourself? Is it a pleasure or are you just mindlessly eating and filling your face, right? Whatever you're doing, even if it's a chocolate bar or a Burger King meal, do it with love. If you're not doing it with love, then that's not healthy. So do it with joy. And that's that's Archangel Michael's message for you here. So let's pull the next card. I'm going to do a few more. Commitment. This is the, your guardian angel coming to tell you about commitment. Your twin flame is committed to your union, whether it looks like it on the external or not. But let me tell you what that means. Being committed to your union means being committed to divinity, to love itself, to God. When you begin to commit to God, to love, to loving feelings rather than the upset or the feelings and thoughts of separation, that is choosing your union. So if your twin flame looks like they're not committing to you on the external, there's a part of you, they're reflecting a part of you that is not committing to yourself. The mirror works like that. Your twin flame is your divine mirror. And it's not that if they're not committing to you, you're not committing to them. That's not the mirror. They're showing you what you're doing within yourself to yourself. 
always. They're only ever showing you your relationship to yourself and your divinity, i.e. God, right? So choose to commit at a deeper level to love, to loving yourself, to being um, one with spirit in that love, because that's all that God wants to do is to love you. So commit to yourself first, um, to your joy, to your harmony. Don't commit to ego. <laughs> that's, that's, I think, what this card is telling you, um, to commit to love only. And then we've got a beautiful card, stress management. So your twin flame is kind of telling you uh, you're stressed out. <laughs> your guardian angel's like, hey, you, you're stressed out. It's really interesting that this card pairs with the healthful eating card. And these two are more like inner things that are going on on the inside. And this is the outer expression of what's happening on the inside. So do um, things that really take a load off. Um, what your twin flame does to relieve stress is going to be different to maybe what you do to relieve stress because you're complementary, you're not carbon copies. So we're going to um, invite even more healing. This is what you need to get used to is giving yourself even more love. Like you get to have more. Really allow yourself to have more to choose it in your heart, right? Even if your bank account's like, hey, I can't spend any more money or, you know, whatever it is, it's not about money. Uh, money is included, but that's not where, what this is, you know, starting with. So it starts with love. It starts with loving yourself. So here's a card for you. You are limitless. Recognize this truth. You can do anything you choose to do. Okay, that actually goes right along with believe. So I'm going to place that right above um, the Believe card. It really is the same thing, the same energy coming through. Card number four, that is, that's a four there. This is a foundation card. So choose to believe. Look on the card. There's a pair of swans here. Very union energy. Choose to believe in your union. Choose to believe um, that you can have what you desire, right? Even a unicorn. <laughs> um, Choose, keep choosing that and letting go of all these voices that are coming into your mind. Like, you can't have that. That's um, ego. It's simple, simply put, it's just ego. So just let that go. Choose to let it go. Let's find out what's next. Appreciate this moment. Each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love. So let go of whatever came before. And this is a manifestation card, 33. Um, choose to appreciate this moment. So whatever happened even five minutes ago or 10 minutes ago before you watch this video, it is no longer here. Let go of it. Let the water rush under the bridge and just appreciate the now. It's only ever now now. So your twin flame is telling you, your higher self is telling you, um, you're holding on to stuff that's stressing you out. So this card's positioning over the stress management card is also telling you something. Um, let go of what came before and just start anew and keep keep that in, in your practice. Start fresh from right where you are. Okay, here's the next card. Oh, la la. The union of hearts. There is a connection of love that defies explanation. So this should give you some reassurance if it doesn't already that this person, um, you know, is very likely your true twin flame and it doesn't matter, you know, let go of like, oh, are they maybe real twin flame or not? Let go of that and just heal what they're showing you, right? It's safe to relax into love, into romantic love, into partnership, and be romanced. Um, one really good tool uh, that I wanna recommend to you, if you don't have it already, get the Twin Flame Romance Attraction e-course by Jeff and Julia on twinflamesuniverse.com. That's gonna really help you um, to really embody this energy and magnetize it in your life. We're gonna go for our last card. The Divine Masculine wants to tell you, be authentic to who you are. You are asked to be real and true pertaining to who you are and how you feel. That is so important. If you want to wear a, a swan on your head, go for it. Just kidding. But seriously, this is not just talking about, um, you know, the, the things that you like and, and do. This is talking about like your intuition. Like if your intuition is telling you something, listen, don't ignore it. Don't sweep it to the side because your twin flame is going to mirror that, right? Like your twin flame is your divine mirror. So if you're ignoring yourself, if you're, if you're saying yes, when you mean no, 
if you're accepting things that aren't actually acceptable to your divine self, then, um, then really choose to just feel safe in your own heart. Nothing can hurt you. If you are saying yes when you mean no, or something feels off, but you ignore the off feeling because you're trying to please someone else, well, that's going to backfire because what's going to happen is, especially if they're your twin flame, you're, you're not going to receive anything from that. You're not going to get what you're trying to get by trying to please them or in control in that way. So let that go and simply be yourself because then, you know, everything is much more fluid. You're not going to need to backpedal and, um, you know, <laughs> try to, um, give yourself what you desire anyway, but only after having experienced conflict and contrast. So choose yourself. Big message today, really sweet words. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. If you'd like your own personal reading for your union, um, I'm currently doing um, readings for individuals for their unions, and so is my twin flame, Josh. So you can get the Divine Feminine or the Divine Masculine perspective read from either one of us. And we also have a reading where we both um, share and my readings for the rest of January are all on sale. So grab those while they're hot. Love you very much. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.